need as much sleep as I can get. I feel like what I'm doing is really inefficient right now. When capacitabine inhibit thymidylate synthase. I feel like I really made a big breakthrough just now. First week of medical school in one word. Uh, crazy. Hey guys, welcome to this week's vlog. It is Sunday, August 20th officially marking my last day of summer before I start medical school tomorrow. Apparently there's a ton of pre-lecture material that we were supposed to go over today for tomorrow, and I haven't done any of it, and there's a lot. So it looks like that's gonna be the rest of my night, but I guess we're kind of starting right now. So stick around and we'll see how my first week in medical school goes. It is 6.55 a.m. I am going to just do as much Anki as I can before I start class in an hour, but it is crazy how many terms and concepts that they want us to have memorized before we even have our first day of class. They're just going right into it. They're not wasting any time at all. I am going to get started on Anki and then I'm going to head out. You guys are, um, <laughs> um, well, welcome. Back at home, going to make some food, review tomorrow's material, and probably do some flashcards. I'm getting really stressed out because there are so many resources that we have available, but I just don't know which ones I should be using and which ones are more of a waste of time slash less efficient. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm definitely wanting to use Anki, I know that. I feel like what I'm doing is really inefficient right now, so. Uh, holy crap. Tomorrow will be Tuesday, my second day. And no joke, I feel like we have gone through an entire semester's worth of molecular biology that I took in undergrad. Oh my gosh. Dihydrofolate reductase turns DHF into THF. Trimethoprim, methotrexate, and pyrimethamine inhibit dihydrofolate reductase. And All right, it's 10 o'clock and I'm kind of starting to slow down, so I'm gonna call it a night, but I was just watching the vlog up until this point and the vibes are really low but I need to remind myself that being in this position has been my dream for so long, and I'm so happy to be here. And I literally dreamt of having this uh, hopelessness that I have right now. So I just have to remember that. And um, I just talked to some of my other classmates and everyone else is struggling too. So it's not just me. It's gonna get better, I just need to get into a good routine. I am gonna wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, crush Anki, finish the rest of the material before my lecture in the morning. And since I said it on the vlog, I have to do it. Just watch the Boards and Beyond nucleotide metabolism videos. I'm gonna go shave my face and head to class. Super productive morning. Watched some videos on the biochem I was kind of struggling with. Not totally good, but much better than last night. So it's gonna be an awesome day. All right, we got Harneet here. It's his first time doing Cadaver Lab. I'm oh. kind of nervous, man. Nervous? Time, I think uh, I might think about it when I get home. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to respect the body the best I can and uh, walk in. <laughs> I just had lunch and studied a little bit. Now we have a couple more lectures and then maybe gonna go to this student mixer meetup thing, but definitely I'm gonna need to study uh, more. Good morning. We are gonna be taking a five hour NBME step one practice exam, which is honestly really nice because after we're done with that, I'm just gonna study for the stuff that we've been learning and try to catch up as much as I can. Just finished with the exam. It was very hard. I would probably say I knew like 10% of the questions that were on there, but it's a diagnostic exam, so they're not expecting us to know anything on there. I've decided I'm just gonna go home and study for the rest of the day. I'm not gonna stay here. I feel like I could be more productive at home. Gonna go home and do Anki. It feels good to come outside to a beautiful day though. Holy cow. 
I've only been studying like 90 minutes and I feel like I really made a big breakthrough with nucleotide metabolism, which is something that I've really been struggling to understand and memorize for this past like 24 hours. So I'm finally gonna be able to move on to the Anki and move on to the next content that we're gonna be covering tomorrow. Feeling good. Let's go. Just finished my Anki cards and now I'm gonna go back to school and study with some people for tomorrow's lecture material, which is embryogenesis. Called a night. It is 10 p.m. I'm super tired, which is weird, but I've been waking up really early every day. And I'm gonna do it again tomorrow. My first class is at 8 a.m. I'm gonna try to do some Anki before. I'm here with G, Carolyn, and Michaela. And the question is, what advice would you give to pre-meds? Um Hit the gym, uh, but seriously, like do something that you like, whatever it is. I think that helped me the most. I would say try to maintain work-life balance if you can. Like it's not just about studying, try to find time for friends in the gym and other things as well. That'll help you in the long run to avoid burnout and stuff like that. All great advice shared. I would say don't be afraid to ask for help. I'm the type of person who's like, I need to do everything on my own but i also feel like it's really important to like keep believing in yourself everyone here is so incredible and i was like i'm not good enough but just keep believing in yourself and doing what you're passionate about don't you like all right Anytime in undergrad, whenever I would hit a low point for studying or when I was studying the MCAT, but I needed to keep going, I would always go to typeracer.com and just see how fast I could type. Kind of a good way to push yourself past the low point of studying. So let's see, I probably haven't done this in like a year. Oh my gosh. Good morning. Today is gonna to be an awesome day because at school we just have some transition to medical school lectures on professionalism and whatever, but they're not required. So I am not gonna to go to those. I'm gonna stay at home. It's gonna be an at-home study today, but I'm just gonna be able to focus up right here, walk in to Anki, and tonight I'm gonna to grab drinks with some of my classmates. So stay tuned. What's up guys? I'm just eating lunch right now. But it's afternoon now. I studied for like, let's see, seven hours, but I'm finally feeling like caught up, like completely. I don't have any stress about being behind or not understanding things, but I did have a big realization. And it's that I think that me as a person, I really have a hard time with not understanding something. I really wanna be able to understand it and have a good grasp, but that's not gonna work during medical school because they throw so much at you. There's no way that you could understand all of it, especially when there's this much material. So I think that's something I really need to work on going into next week, just being okay with being lost or being confused. All I have left to do is a weekly knowledge check test and I'll be all done for the week. But this weekend, I'm definitely gonna study and try to get ahead for next week. But it feels good to be in a comfortable spot now. Cheers. First week of medical school in one word. It was great. Stressful. You guys took all the good words. <laughs> First week of medical school in one word. Amazing. First week of medical school in one word. Horns down. First week of medical school in one word. Ah, uh, crazy. Kane. First week of medical school in one word. Totally dumb. <laughs> William. First week of medical school in one word. A lot. That's two words, but. Oh, <laughs> You're Nate. First week of medical school in one word. <laughs> 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 